from AliExpress. You can get this beautiful and very useful digital adjustable programmable step down buck converter power supply module also it's a bench power supply unit and it costs 37 dollars it's not cheap but it's digital and this model that i have it it's that can handle from 30 volts and 3 amperes but you can choose the cheaper one that can handle to 20 volts and 2 Amperes $29, $40 for 30 volts, 5 Amperes, and $42 is for 50 volts, 5 Amperes. Okay, and the shipping is free. I will put a link in the description below so you can check it. And here it is my module, which is model is. DPS 3003 that means that can handle 30 volts and 3 amperes uh, maximum and I'm using for a couple of years here it is the power adapter laptop power adapter that give 19 volts and 4 amperes that goes to the main power switch and just to show you here we have 4 pin connector Two terminals are for the input and two terminals are for output. That's it. The output terminals are connected on the output banana plugs, negative and positive. Very simple design and I'm using this adjustable power supply, homemade power supply, couple of years without problem. Just to tell you the specifications, the model is DPS. 3003 the, and the input voltage is from 6 volts to maximum 40 volts that is the input voltage output voltage is from 0 to 32 volts output current is 3 amperes output power totally is 96 watts voltage resolution 0 0.01 and the current right, and the current resolution is 0 0.001 ampere we have in plus input positive, in negative, enter negative number, out plus output is positive, out minus output negative. The product size is 8 by 4.2 by 4.5 centimeters. That is 3.1 by 1.7 by 1.8 inches. Okay. So the bench digital power supply module is fixed on this electric box. I have placed two banana plugs, negative and positive. I have the main switch right here and the AC input voltage turning on. Now I'm gonna explain some stuff about this module here on the right bottom side we have on off now the power supply is off you can choose the voltage but the output is off turning on one one volt output let me explain all the stuff on the on the bench power supply unit or module. This is the rotary control. We have on off push switch right here. We have three additional push switches and the first one is for adjusting the voltage. When you press on the rotary you can change the decimal number right here you can change the voltage on this decimal but if I, I can choose here and the output is the, these numbers 6.4 volts but I can turn it off with this push button this one is the preset voltage 
value and this is the current pre preset value. This one is the output volt voltage and this one is the output current and the watts. Right now the voltage in is 19.27 volts because uh, as I said I'm using a laptop power adapter that gives 19 volts and the input is 19 volts. With input of 19 volts the maximum output is 18.28 volts. Right now the current is set on 3.1 and that is the, the maximum. When you select set you go to the menu. Here you can make some other adjustments. Also you can change the brightness of the screen from 0 to number 5. Alright. Now let's hook up a bulb, a test bulb. The vol voltage output is set right now on 18 volts but the current is set on 400 milliampers. What does it mean? That means that this light bulb if I power with 18 volts, will it burn? No, because the current is set on limit of 400 milliampers. Look, I set the voltage on 18 volts and the output voltage dropped to 11.8 volts, enough to light the bulb with 400 milliampers. And I, I can change that. at 440 milliampers and the output voltage now is 14 volts which is okay. Turn off this. Now I'm gonna set the voltage to let's say to 13 volts to test this. Turning off. I'm gonna power up the bulb. Connect the ligator clips. Nothing happens, but when I turn it on, look, 420 milliampers is pulling this light bulb at 13.2 volts. So you can change the volt, the output volts, but also you can change the the current. Let's say. 340 milliampers. It's little for this light bulb. We go to maximum 400, 600. This is the preset current value, and the output is this one: 380 milliampers. All right. Here I have a heating wire, and we're gonna test the maximum output power of this power supply and that is 18 volts and 3.1 ampere. Let's set on maximum 18 volts and we're gonna go to maximum of 3.1 ampere. Will it give this power supply? Yes, 3.1 amperes. And it's pulling much more this heating wire. But the voltage dropped to 1.75 volts. How many watts is that? All right, let me try something else. Okay, here I have, I think, how many watts is this? 12 volts, 45 watts car bulb. At 8 volts, 3 amperes, 26 watts. It says that this module can deliver 96 watts. All right. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. It's a geared DC motor. The voltage is set on 6 volts, the ma maximum current.
2.5 amperes at 6 volts. Great. And must say, for the money, this bench digital power supply module that can handle maximum to 30 volts and 3.1 amperes and that's it around 90 watts it's great unit and worth for the money and i'm using this couple of years now i need to upgrade and i will made it but right now i wanted to show you this awesome module that is doing a great job in description below i will put the link so you can check it and if you want it you can order it okay that was all for today's video please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya good stuff